Welcome to the Blue Mouse Knits. Today I'm going to teach you how to work a shoulder seam. This is used to join the bind off edge of one piece to the bind off edge of another piece. So here I have the tail from my back bind off and this is what I would typically use if I was working this but for the purpose of this demonstration I will be using a contrasting color. I want to first explain what makes up a knit stitch. The knit stitch is a V. So you have a left leg and a right leg to it. And here I just have lots of columns of knit stitches. What we're going to do is you want to either thread some yarn, the same that you used for your pattern, or thread your top piece tail onto a yarn needle. We're going to go in between the two legs of your edge stitch. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's a couple things that look like they're options here. It's not going to make a big difference, so don't overthink it. You know, this is the hole closest to our bind off. So here's the left leg here, but it looks like I have two right legs on the right half. This is because of our standard knit bind off. It just kind of creates this weird edge. I'm just going to go in between what looks to be the furthest edge stitch here from back to front and then pull through. You want to be sure to leave yourself a tail long enough to weave in later. So now we're going to go to the top piece and we're going to find the furthest most V. So the furthest most full stitch. So if it helps, here's a V. Move one over, here's a V. Move one over, and here's a V. So this is my furthest most V. I have like a partial edge stitch there, but my last full V with both a left and a right leg is right here. The bottom of the V juts up against the bind off. So I'm going to go underneath both legs from right to left and pull my yarn through. You don't have to pull it tight to close it just yet. I like to do that, you know, every inch or so. Sometimes it can be helpful if your pieces aren't wanting to stay close to kind of pin them together. Just in the beginning, I find that can be helpful. And now we go back to the bottom. We're going to go underneath the left leg of our edge stitch and the right leg of the stitch next to it. But the easiest way to remember this is to go back into the hole where your yarn is coming out of from the previous stitch. Okay, so here is my gray yarn coming out of this hole. So I go back into it and go right to left and pick up two legs. You'll notice that it's half one stitch and half of another, but always go back into the hole where your yarn is coming out of and pick up the next two legs. So pull the yarn through, being careful not to pull out your tail. And then we go back up top and our yarn is coming out of this hole right here. So we go into it from right to left and pick up the next two legs, which on our top piece here will always be both legs of the same stitch, half of one stitch, half of another, one full stitch here. Pull the yarn through. And then on the bottom, remember that our yarn is coming out of this hole here. So we go back into it and pick up the next two legs. And we just keep going. And this is what it starts to look like. You can see we get a perfect continuation from one column in the top piece down to the same column in the bottom piece. So we've knit a little over an inch, but you can kind of pull on that yarn and it will scrunch up your piece. Again, be careful that you don't pull out your tail. You can always pull it from the tail end if it becomes too short. And if it starts to kind of scrunch up, all you have to do is just pull one end away from the other. And there you have it. Our seam disappears, but we still get the perfect continuation. So I just keep going for about another inch or so. You can see we've knit a few more stitches and then I pull on the working yarn to kind of tighten that up and you can see it's a little bit scrunched so I just pull it apart and there you have it. That is a shoulder seam. I'm just going to quickly show you how I do the very end of my shoulder seam. I have switched back to the same color as my project. I have a garter edge here but I also used a standard knit bind off so it's about the same. It's gonna be a little bit harder to tell. This part, again, it's not that important. So here, I've just done a top part. So I'll pull it out a little bit, but here is my string right here. It's coming out of this hole right here. I have three legs here left. So I go back into the hole and pick up the next two. And that will completely attach this. That creates one full stitch here, as you can see. It's up to you how you want to do this. I haven't seen very many tutorials on how to finish this part. I'll probably just go up and pick up the next stitch on the top. So my yarn is coming out of this hole right here. As you can see, this is it right here. It's coming out of this hole, so I pick up the next two legs. You could pick up just one if you wanted it to match perfectly, but I'm just going to pick up two. 
And now I'm just going to go down to the bottom and find that last little bit. So here's where my yarn is coming out of this hole right here. And there's only one leg left. So I'm just going to go from front to back and pull my yarn through. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it slightly differently, but I think that works just fine. And then I scrunch up just the last few, pull them apart. And then I just weave in my ends to secure that. So I would just flip it over and it gives you this perfect seam on the wrong side. So it's very easy to hide your tails in. So it doesn't have to be super exact, but I just kind of use that seam to hide any of my tails. And there we have it. This is our perfect shoulder seam. Everything lines up really beautifully. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials.